Bonjour humans, so at the time of recording it is Friday night, um, it's approximately quarter to six and um, I've got a game here that's loading in my PS2 and it's taking forever um, and the game in question is Canis Canum Edit, however you say that shit, which I presume is Latin for something, although I don't really know any Latin. Um, and Canis Canum Edit is also known as Bully. Um, I'm not sure whether the original Xbox game was called Bully and then it had Canis Canum Edit as the uh, sort of banner there. Below um, on this it says Bullworth Academy, um, but the reason why I'm letting it load so for, for such a long time is because it is a game using. Well, I assume it's using a Grand Theft Auto free engine or a tweaked version of that engine. So the Grand Theft Auto games traditionally take a while to load and sort of. Uh, set in however I think this one might be taking even too long for a, a Rockstar release um, this game was quite controversial um, when it was released I've just taken the disc out and um, just giving it a bit of a wipe hopefully uh, get this working because this is a game that I've really wanted to play for a long time um, I missed out of it I missed out on it um, first time round with the original Xbox when I had one um, probably because it was towards the end of the sort of life cycle of the original Xbox and um, this version I believe was released a bit later on the PS2 and um, you know, I'd, I'd just moved on um, by this point. I'm going to, going to reset the console now. This is getting quite annoying. Um, and yeah, it was released in 2006, so um, I probably. Uh, I don't know whether I'd have had an Xbox 360. I actually bought an Xbox 360 off my brother, um, which was like really shit because it used to freeze. It had a problem with a power brick or something, and it froze, and you reset it, and then it was fine. I don't, I don't know why I did it. Um, so yes, it's easily a game that you could have missed on the original Xbox. There is, of course, an Xbox 360 version of the game and there's also a PC version I might not have possibly picked up this PS2 version if I'd have seen the um, the PC version at such a low price on Steam I think it was like 2 99 on Steam or something like that I didn't pay much more for this PS2 version but obviously the uh, PC version is going to be superior You see there, even on the top there, it says one of the PS2's finest action games, and that's from PlayStation Magazine 3. So, um, clearly, the PS3 was in people's minds when this game was released, seeing as there was a magazine for it. The disc is grinding away as if it's uh, accessing some data. But, uh, I don't know. Come on, I want to play you, bastard. Oh, I feel like this is going to be like a two part video where I try to get the game to work and then fail and then um, try again. So I do have one last ace up my sleeve and that is 
a regular PS2, not a slim line, so I'm going to go downstairs and pick one up. Pick up two. And so, uh, take the disc out and shove this PS2 to one side. Um, and historically, um, my non-slimline PS2s are actually far worse at reading games. Uh, generally, we can't even read DVDs at all. Um, we can read game discs usually, um, PS2 game discs they have trouble reading PS1 discs so maybe it could be what I need, maybe it's uh, it's not, maybe this is not going to load the game either but we can try. So I plug the controller in, pull it out of the PS2 slimline. Try. Let's do something. It's probably the time to insert a PS2 disc now. Come on, man. I'm such a bitch. And it's a shame that these um, full fat model PS2s don't seem to be so great at reading PS1 discs and DVDs because. I do like the, the styling and the chunkiness and I like a, a front loading games console because I like a games console that can stack, you know, I can take this PS2 slimline and stack it on top of there if I need to and uh, it's definitely a design feature I like. Of course uh, top, top loaders uh, basically come around when uh, Cost is an issue. Are we going to see any bloody action? Just having a right good grind at the disc. It means the disc doesn't look that bad, so I don't know whether it's a refurbished fucking disc that is was ruined to begin with and it's got deep um, long lasting sort of damage to the data sector, sectors and it's just been fucking buffed across so it looks like no. One last try with a big fucking PS2. I'm pissed off about this. Not happy. Such a fucking pain in the ass. Give it quite a hard rub now. I'm not really in, interested in the uh, condition of the disc now because if it doesn't fucking work, it doesn't work. So one, one last hurrah for Canis Canum Edit, aka Bully, for the PS2. And if it doesn't work, then pissed off really is a shame maybe I'm just doomed to never play this game maybe by the time I end up actually playing this game it will look like Pong does now I'll be like 90 years old now you playing tennis tennis maybe It'd be fucking diabolical.
You do kind of hold your breath every time you put a disc into his PS2 because it just seems to take that little bit longer at everything. I don't know whether the Slimline's got a slightly faster DVD drive in it or it's just literally like the laser's a bit knackered so it's worse at reading discs. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on man, play this fucking game. This shit sucks. What time are we at now? Yay, a whole 10 minute 38 second video so far of nothing. Just me waffling on and moaning about this fucking PS2 and the PS2 slimline. This is taking quite long now. I can't have one last try and not even get to the fucking part I was at before. I was taking a piss. One last blow and wipe, for fuck's sake. Blowing and wiping. Blowing again. Inserting into the PS2. Holding my breath, crossing my fingers and toes. Have I got anything else that I can cross? I could cross my testicles, but uh, they might swell up and explode if I did that. So I think I'll leave my testicles. I'd rather not my testicles explode than uh, actually get to play this game, to be honest. Come on, man, come on! I wonder if I've got more chance of winning the lottery or playing this game tonight. Fuck's sake, now the fucking capture device has fucking crashed Jesus I have to hit record again just in case it actually does play it's problem after goddamn problem seems to be just, this seems to happen all the time with the first video that I do every day every day that I do a video should I say so this is where we got to before Pressing buttons, nothing's happening. The game's not progressing. Come on. Come on. Got to be fucking shitting me. <sighs> no. I said one last try last time, but. I really don't see what can be so bad about this disc that it does not fucking play. Do you know what I'm going to try in this PS2 one last time? Stranger things have happened in the world than this actually working. So one last try and then we'll play some other games if it doesn't work. And if it does work then it's on to a video, another video, uh, another video actually with me playing this game. And it would be a good idea to plug the controller in just in case and not plug it into the goddamn memory card port.
There seems to be a lengthy pause here on this uh, when loading this game. You know, like an unhealthy sort of pause just to load that, you know what I mean? Well, let's see what happens now. This is the screen that will come up that we've been getting stuck at. Here, a bit of a bit more grinding. Is it going to do anything? I'm going to give it one more minute. I'm just going to sit here and wait, see what happens. If nothing happens. <laughs> So by cleaning the disc I've actually managed to make it worse. Great. Oh, bit of grinding. Twenty more seconds. Come on. Piece of shit. Oh, I wonder if a 60 gig PS3 would play this game. I used to have one, but I don't anymore. So that's it now. Then this game just doesn't work, and this was a fucking pointless video. But I still upload it anyway, cause I'm fucking ghetto in it.